Hi, today I'm going to talk about how to create a confidence interval or a, a moving band um, sort of a area chart in Tableau. So uh, here I have, a, I have a data set. So you can see that um, the data it is by um, the, first col uh, the first column I have quarter. And then I have a, um, a three column that is prepared for my confidence interval, which is the temp or, um, or a band area. So which is the 10% percentile, 90% percentile, and then a median. And I have a category, and then uh, I have the, uh, a number here. So uh, for each category, and then for, uh, I think this is six quarter, and then I have six number. And then with, uh, within, with, within the same quarter, we should have the same number for each uh, 10 percentile, 19 percentile, or 50 percentile. So you can see that quarter 4, 2016 is 99 percent, or 0 0.99. And then the same for the, for the second category, for category B, for the median, we should have the same format. So uh, basically, the data set is, is um, the, the data structure is in, in long format. Since uh, if new data are coming in, we are going to stack the new data at the bottom of this of this um, of this data. So let's say um, let's say 2018 Q2 data arrives, we will put those data at the bottom of this one. So the data set will grow vertically rather than horizontally. So this is a long format, not a wide format. Although we have uh, five different columns um, here, but the data will grow vertically. We're going down. So um, this will make the data structure as long format. Um, in all, the reason why we have this three additional column, although they have the, the volume are, re you can see that the volume keep repeated, repeating every six quarter. The reason we structure the data like this is because we need to create this extra column in Tableau to make it, um, to, to create the um, area chart. So uh, you will see what I mean later. Okay, so now let's go to Tableau and then let's bring up this data. So uh, make sure um, this is an issue in Tableau. Make sure you convert the text since um, let's say 2017 Q4, Tableau will read it as a text object or a text um, element. So make sure you convert that to quarter or to a date format and then work on your um, your visualization. So I'm just going to do, uh, do it very quick. So the sample is the volume and then I have a, so in this visualization I have a line chart by quarter and then if you remember I have different categories so now I'm going to bring it to color and then to brick to, to brick it to brick that aggregate line to all this different category and now I'm going to create my my band or this area chart so remove the unnecessary pills here so I only want 10 19 and 50 percentile in the graph and now I'm going to make it as area so um, let me remove this. Um, okay. So now you see that there are three. One is uh, ten, and then ninety, and then fifty percent. However, as you have noticed, that this is a stacking um, area chart. So although this is uh, ten percentile should be five point two eight seven, but when you stack them, when you stack everything together, you will see that this will reach about twenty two something. In order to, to disintegrate that, we go to analysis, start a uh, stack mark, and then make it turn it off. And then you see that um, three different layer. This one has nine, uh, 9.38, and this one is um, okay. Um, yeah, it seems like. Uh, so the 90 percentile should be at the back. So you can think of this as three different layer. With ten percent on the in the front, fifty percent should be in the middle, and then the ninety percent should be at the back. So in order to do that, you can change if you drag this. So now you can see that this fifty percentile is clickable. Before it wasn't. 
So if you drag the order, you can make you can rearrange their uh, the the order of this layer. So the ten is on the on in the front, in the middle, and it, all the way to the back. So now we are we only want to show the band uh, the band area, which is uh, which is basically the area between uh, ten and nineteen percentile. So whatever uh, below ten percent uh, tenth percentile should be actually uh, empty or uh, so um, first of all to 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 separate them by color we need to bring up the measure name to the color pill okay so now you can see that the color are here first of all make this to a hundred to the solid color and then we are going to change the color so remember this is three different layers so we always want so the tenth percentile is at the front of this in the front of this layer, and then to in order to make it uh, into white, double click that tenth percentile and then change it to white. So now you will see that this part disappear, or actually it does not disappear, but it, it is colored white. It is um, covered with white color, so it appears that you are only left with uh, with the with the uh, interval here. But actually, this is still three different layer here. Later on, you can remove the the grid line here so that this uh, entire chart will appear as a the background will be as a will appear as a whiteboard. So now, um, you can choose whatever color you want. To me, I only want to show the 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 area between this um, ten and nineteen percentile. So I'm just going to change it to gray color for both. Now you can see that this area, this is just um, this is just an interval or a band or a moving band area chart here. Okay, so I'm not you can you can remove it later, but that is it depends that is uh, in the formatting. So I'm not going to do it too detailed for this um, in this tutorial video. So my goal here is to combine these two graphs. So as you may know, you are going to use um, dual access to make that uh, happen, and then, yep, and then every time, uh, most of the time, when you do dual access, you want to synchronize two axes here, especially in this case. So you can see that all the line chart has have been the line chart has been disappeared. The reason is that of course all the line well not of course but um they are within the 10th and 90 percentile so they must be in 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 inside or at the back or which is covered by this band area in order to make the line chart appear base you can come down to this axis and then right click and then move the mark to the front and then you see that um the chart will bring to the front However, you might see that um, why they seems like in the different uh, in the different ranges. It is because if you still remember the data format, you have you have that um, tenth uh, percentile repeated pattern. The repeating pattern appear every six quarter. So you so the aggregate function here you want to use is not sum. However, it should be average. So you should change everything to average. So if you take the average of the same number of all six or the average of all same number, it should still be the number itself. So you can see that when you bring everything to average, so the average of six uh, six should be just uh, thirty six divided by six. So you should t always take the the percentile here uh, as average. So now you can just do some formatting. For example, if you want to zoom in to this outline chart, uh, just not include the zero. And then maybe make the line um, thicker. Or you can make the, this color a little bit lighter. And then maybe you can drag. Um, let's see if this works here. If I drag it to the label, yeah. You can see that it shows the uh, 90 percentile, median 10 percentile. So yeah, and then you can remove the grid um, and then uh, uh, rename it or change the font and then add in the number later on. So the key 
points here is that um, you should be very familiar with your data structure before you input into Tableau to make a graph. And then um, be careful about the, the range. And then uh, take the average of all, if, the, if, the, if there's a repeating pattern, take the average of that number to make sure that um, you get the same number rather than the sum of the same, sum of all six, uh, or sum of all identical numbers. And, and one more thing is that uh, make sure you understand this area chart. This is three different layers, except I just changed the bottom layer or the, or the layer in the front to, col to white color so that it appears to be disappear. However, it is still there. It's just that I'm just showing colors for, my, um, for the 10th percentile and the 19th percentile. So it appears to be a, a moving banner or a moving, a moving band. Uh, area chart. Compared to the analytic part here, the reference line and the reference band, they must be, they, they are only, they only, have, you can only use this if your band is, uh, is constant across all the quarters. So if you have a straight line and then you, or a, or a fixed number, then you can use this uh, reference line here. However, if your if your if your confidence interval or your band or your area chart is uh, can be different in different quarter, then you can you can try to use this area chart method to make uh, to to show your uh, interval here. Um, so thank you very much for watching, and let me know if you have any question in the comment section. Feel free to subscribe and share with your friends. Your support your your support is greatly appreciated. Thank you so much.